We left Potsquaro at night, against our better judgment, because it was pouring rain and we couldn't see, but we are really trying to get to Lenny's house and Morelia. We had to stop and pull over at a gas station. A biker gang rolled up. They were called Los Lobos. The leader of the pack, <laughs> he referred to himself as Lobo. He was in love with Andrea. He really liked me. Like a lot. <laughs> he told you he loved you when we left. He bought me a beer, actually. Aww. Yeah, he liked her so much that he put our sticker on his bike. It was really so cool. So the leader of a Mexican motorcycle gang has a motor venturing sticker on his bike now. They were trying to convince us to go to Morelia despite the fact that we couldn't see. There was a big biker party there. People from Huge all over the area party. were going to Morelia and they were all way more hardcore than us. We decided to go and crash at this little auto hotel. The four of us got to split this baller room for like 20 bucks or something with this great portal where you can watch your friend shower. The next morning, my bike had strange puddles underneath it. I tried to start the bike and it wouldn't start, and Andrea's like, I know exactly what that is, because she's been telling me forever that the stock petcock fails, and it causes it to drip and flood into your carburetor and fill your engine with gas. Causing hydrolock. If you have a DRZ and you have a stock petcock, you should go out to your garage, just grab it off the bike, you can unbolt it, and just... <laughs> Rip it off and throw it in the garbage. <laughs> and then buy a Pingle. Yeah, I don't work for Pingle. She's not a paid spokeswoman, but Pingle, if you're listening, she would like to be. Ask more gas! <laughs> if you have this problem and your bike does this, the only cure is to do an oil change. Now, every time we stop, Becky needs to unhook her fuel line. Oh my god. But I'm not That's sure. what happens here all the time. Just explosions. Shooting. Just blow things up. Michoacan has a really bad reputation as being the most dangerous state in Mexico. People well, were like ridiculously nice. They were so yeah. happy to see tourists there, I think. Whatever preconceived notions you have about Mexico. Throw them out with your stock peacock. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting way more progressive about yeah. their views on women. We saw this awesome sign where it's urging girls to go get an education instead of getting pregnant. The happy dancing comedy. It was on great. It. it was like, do you want to be pregnant or do you want to go to school? <laughs> They have neuroscience magazines at like every gas station. They which do. Which means enough people in Mexico care about neuroscience to have a gas station magazine about it. That's awesome. And gay marriage is legal now. And the roads were pretty good. Like, Reasonable there was for sure. Lots of road construction going on. Almost all of the Ruta 2010 that we rode was like beautiful. There was this one spot where we came around a corner and half the road was gone. We took all the free roads through Mexico. If you want to see really beautiful twisty roads, take the free road. Yeah, it's don't slow, take the toll road. It's beautiful. If you go through all these little towns and all the food and lodging, is going to be way cheaper than if you go on the paid road. Then you can eat more tacos. And you didn't have to pay for it. So they make really delicious nachos. Yes. Food. We ate a lot of it. We spent <laughs> a lot of time riding and riding and then riding and, and then, then eating. eating a lot in the evenings. Yeah. And then we rode more and then we ate more. So Andrea hates stock petcocks. She also hates mirrors. I only hate them because my bike gets tired when it goes in the sand, like a lot, and the mirrors break off. I decided that Andrea needed mirrors before she and Ashley got run over. And we found some awesome scooter mirrors. We also found a Christmas tree orchard. After winding through all of the beautiful scenery of Michoacan, we finally arrived in Oaxaca. Oaxaca!